You know Dami gon' get to the T. You know Dami gon' get to the T. Y'all know Dami gon' get to the T. Give me it. Alright, so when it comes to Young Thug and Gunna, there are so many things that are being said. Metro Boomin has been speaking out and it's all been posted. Now, I read to you guys this earlier. Are you just going to leave? Um, are you going to leave him, Young Thug, like they did Tupac and all that stuff, what he said? But there was more to that statement and I want to just read this to you. Metro Boomin goes on to say, YSL is not a gang and it's never been a gang fool. YSL is a registered LLC and has provided countless jobs and opportunities for underprivileged black people and really just all people because that's how big Thug's heart is. I've seen firsthanded thousands of people, uh, black people, and their families have lives changed for the better over the past 10 years and now they're trying to cut the head off the snake because they see how much bigger it gets every year. They get terrified every time an iconic black leader emerges with so much influence, respect, power, and appeal. So they throw some BS, BS charges together to lock him up and the slow and to slow down the movement. Look at American history. It's been a pattern for over 100 years. And you BANs try to play devil's advocate behind the keyboard. Keep your police A on that side inward worse than the DA. He goes on to say... Um, that using song lyrics to delight to to indict people is lame and a joke these same lyrics have made billions for the corporations YSL is not a gang we said that he said uh he's they're reposting stuff he said they get terrified every time an iconic black leader emerges with, with so much influence respect power and appeal so they throw some bs charges together to lock them up and slow the movement down okay we said that these brothers need love, support, and prayer right now. It's not jokes or criticisms that they need or opinions. And then this final word from Young Thug World's page where it says, if you read nothing else about YSL today, I hope you read this. These men are fathers, son, husbands, brothers, uncles, and cousins. They are mentors, business owners, philanthropists, and men of God. They are artists, creators, they are healers, and providers. They are compassionate, they are loving and kind. These are also works in progress, like all of us. I have watched these men give back tremendously to their communities and generously do so privately without expectation of public acknowledgement. They have donated their energy, time, and resources for tuitions, home mortgages, funerals, parks, weddings, rehabilitation, children's hospitals, and those in need. The love that they have extended through their blessings is infinite. Understanding that understanding the life they come from only makes their business more special. How the media and the state of Georgia are choosing to portray YSL uh, or its origin is not reflective of the YSL I've grown to know and love. YSL is a label, a successful multi-million dollar business, a brand and a source of inspiration, a taxpayer, and above all else, a family free YSL. Now, while I think that those are wonderful statements, and I think that that sounds absolutely, you know, wonderful when it comes to, um, you know, trying to free your brothers, and I respect that. I also think that obviously, if they did not have some type of, um, some type of, you know, evidence that obviously they wouldn't be there. You know, there are things that, that need to be considered, which is that there's been activity going on. They've been being monitored. They've been being investigated. And, you know, there's things that, that have happened to people surrounding them, like deaths and people buying cars that people have passed away for and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, or that people have passed away while they're using you know, there's there's firearms that have been used in the commissions of these crimes and, and have been found. You know, there was drugs and guns found in his home. Those things are illegal in Georgia. Weed is not legal like it is here, there. So I'm just saying we have to be accountable for the things that we do do. And I think that this is one of those times. All right, leave comments, like, and subscribe.